Maybe. Because it can help you a great deal. Yeah. Even with your yeah. even with your writing. Yeah. And like your speech text. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to read something online, very easy. Yeah. Um, it's very uh, yeah. Very expensive, but very easy. Yeah. I don't know if I you know, I don't read anymore books at all magazines and in waiting like I'm waiting at hospitals all the time for all kinds of reasons I can't see any magazines I know the i book called iPad mm -hmm. you can do something like that but at this point in my life I I think I'm enjoying more not maybe exactly seeing the birds but hearing them and enjoying just being home and relaxing as much as I can I'm trying not to get too much into the computer and you know, more appreciating the the family and the people in my life's phone. You know, and cell phones are really hard. I, I never dial the right number, and I guess I'm not really, you know, too much into so tech had, stuff. So you've had to really <laughs> adapt your life. Yes, and I still am. You know, I'm still realizing still uh, things that I oh, you know, I can't do, or this is how I can. And I have some like five steps in my house up and down to my my bedroom and I have to count every time I walk down them one two three four five because I missed one and you know fell down and I have to count one two three four five up every time in my head and it, you know going anywhere stairs you got to really I don't want to hold on the banister a little bit of Howie Mandel going on there but I have to be he helps me a lot to be very very careful because my depth perception changes a lot you know I, when things are stairs you think it's just flat that stuff goes on too so it's, uh, it's and they gave me some stuff i have uh, glasses for tv i have glasses for the computer i have glasses for reading i have a monocular for seeing far these are a pair of glasses that they gave me for tv put them on see and you adjust it it's like you, there's adjustments there <laughs> you can see the kids are always laughing at me when they walk in the house. I'm watching TV with that, but I wouldn't be able to see it without this. So this is this is good to a certain point, but when my vision gets really bad, it doesn't really help. I I'm standing two feet in front of a is there, fifty inch screen. Is and there, it's hard to see. Is there one thing that you were able to do before that you miss doing now? I kind of got used to things. I guess the main thing was driving. Driving, I know, but um, uh, she used to do like a lot of uh, like dream catchers and oh things yeah, like that. yeah, anything yeah. like that. Uh, yeah, just you can't do it. Reading the Gazette, I just canceled it. I used to go through, through the Gazette, you know, the newspapers. It's too difficult for me to. Oh, it's it's tedious, time consuming, and frustrating. Mm -hmm. But if so if I could, it, the one thing Mike is uh, that I notice is um, she's Lynn is very. Uh, task oriented she ever she thinks about everything that she she does and she likes to do everything that she thinks about but that's changed now you only have to think about what you can do so a lot of times you know I, I just see her sitting and she'll be going like that and you could just tell you know what what's on your mind um, and she's thinking about well there's so many things I should be doing She's still thinking about at the store, uh, Aguari, uh, what needs to be done around the house, all those kinds of things that she, it's more frustration that she can't do everything that she wants to do when she wants to do of her own, her own ability, yeah. you know? Yeah. And you know, you know why, you know why that is? That's because your, your, your brain still thinks you can, you can do that because it, it hasn't yet adjusted Hey, there's a problem, you know, so that that thing will always be there that I can do this and I can do that. But in reality, yeah, you can't, <clears throat> you know, it's it very dependent on, you know, Ross. And then he's so good about everything. And I just said, oh, I'm not going to ask him again to do this, you but, know, but or like that. The, I, I noticed one thing when we were talking earlier off camera, say about uh, you personally were saying you, you you try to do more with less yeah in a way of like uh, things assistance so on it's a sure it's, it's everybody uh who has ends up receiving a physical challenge has to come to terms with that some people like her mm -hmm. you know her thing was, was uh well this must be telling me something 
what am I supposed to be learning from this? What am I supposed to be doing? Yeah. And it's really, you know, kind of saying, let me, it's about acceptance. This is uh, now a part of my mm -hmm. life for a reason. And it's led her to do, look at other ways she can use her, use her heart, her mind, her abilities. And that's one of the reasons we're, we're doing like uh, foster care. Yeah. I'm home all the time, Being there basically. For your, your, yeah. your kids need to be there. <laughs> and they laugh at me. Grandma, I like coming to your house. Why? Because you don't know who we are when we walk in. <laughs> who are you? Even my own daughter. Ma, it's me. Like I see her somewhere else. It's it, they just laugh. I say, well, and then all the kids that come in the house. I can tell who people are now. More yeah. about their shape, the way they walk. You know where they are. And kind of like, is that? Sometimes I'm getting good at it. Well, when, you, when you explain, when you explain to your family mm -hmm. that you were that you were going through this and that that was happening to you, what was the reaction? Was it was it positive? Obviously, they were there to su to support you, but what was their initial reaction? Well, to explain what ha like why did it happen, you know, and and how bad is it going to get? And how am I going to be, um, I guess, um, they don't want me to be sad and frustrated and angry and all those things about it, which that I, I think I go through pretty quickly, a grieving process for, for a loss of uh, depend, independence, certainly. It's always in the back of your mind? Uh, yeah, because of course Ross was saying, you know, why, what, and we have to give thanks for everything. So sometimes you have to look for really, really hard to find a reason to give thanks for something that happens to you. And, and, and in order for, to be able to do that, you got to take those dark glasses off and see through better glasses all the things that say, I can't see with my eyes, but I see so much other things because of it. You want to see it that way. You know, appreciation certainly for the time that it's given me to here and and to be able to speak and to be able to walk you know so i uh, and and uh, to have my family around me because i'm home now i'm a grandma and i think now that's what i'm supposed to be doing so i'm doing my best i always to say to i always say that the creator puts us in a certain way for a certain reason yeah so i'm not gonna say this to make funny i'm i'm saying i'm gonna tell you that it, he puts you that way for a certain reason mm -hmm. because he he wants you to to oh, oh, deal with a challenge. Yeah. You know, and mm -hmm. um, would you say that the community of Ganawage is equipped to deal with people with visual impairments, or they need to they need to do a lot of work around that area? Well, if I didn't have Ross as my so-called crutch in terms of my low vision, I suppose I would have counted on more of my immediate family, extended family, and the community to provide things that I thought I would need. But as far as that goes, since I'm, you know, I'm very, like Ross was saying, I can I, I intend to do things the, any which way that I can and to improvise and compensate every any which way I can and I'm not afraid to ask for help so I feel that if the, if there was anything that I would need from the community I, they would be there and I one of the things I realize and I think even you Mike is that when something where you become more dependent on the community they're there for you you know so, so through this show I, for, even for myself personally, it's, I hope that people would uh, know that I'm not being a snob <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I would be able to talk with them or say hello or acknowledge them if they were a little bit closer, like five feet away. And others who have uh, uh, loss of vision or blind, complete blindness, I guess, would be, you know, to... Um, Everything they're more. I'm I feel more acute in my other senses, and uh, so and we all I think need to have to, to socialize with people. So to to reach out to people, you know, because I can't see my social, you know, contact is has become 
uh, affected yeah. and it, that's that's hard too i don't i don't i can't we go to the movies but anything else why go out why even grocery shopping it's like i can't even see what's on the shelves it's not fun. in a restaurant i can't see the menus so restaurant if they're online, I go through, make it big on the computer and look at the menu. I choose what I want before we go out. Yeah. That's really, really hard. And you're really dependent on what do they have that's good, you know, and then it's, it's not too much fun. Yeah. Or, you know, the treat is to do that. And, you know, well, I don't want to go. <laughs> Ross, if you don't mind me asking you, uh, uh, what was the personal impact? When when you found out when you was going through this, I mean you've been together a couple many years now, and you know when you met her, she she was she could see, but now that she was she was gonna be different. Obviously, your 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 bond your bond would have to get stronger, and you would have to take on more of a role. But for you. How how has it affected you personally? The um, the only thing I would say is um, how has it affected? Uh, you know what, Mike? I don't I don't think it's affected me in any kind of a negative way at all. Uh, if that would be the question, as has you know in terms. Because we do so many things, we do so many things together. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so it just it just changed the way we do it. So I so I I I, did, I stopped working in Oguari. Partly though, because she encouraged me to paint, so I was at home painting. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, her vision got worse, and she needed, and so there was things that we needed to do during the day. So I didn't go back. So that changed. Our income changed. Now I think we've adjusted. So. I can go back. I'm working part time, but it's really the the, the structure today is really is to see that we, well this needs to happen. This is so many things that she used to do. Okay, she'll drop me off at work, and then she goes and does this, or she goes and and does that, um, or just for her to say uh, uh, take the kids uh, out for lunch. That's all changed. So, um, but really, in terms of, uh, uh, of the change, change for, for me, I, mean, I, I, don't think, I don't think either of us really thinks of it in a way that's really reflective of, I don't know, I guess, it, I don't know if the question was about quality of life. Quality of, yeah. Our quality of life just changes, but to me, it just, it's, it's enhanced. Uh, by whatever you by whatever you do with something, it's like um, it's all. I think it's all about. But for me, it's you know what? It's not. It's not me. The only thing I, I get hurt for her. I get hurt for her. We go someplace, and um, she can She's around. Like we went to a thing at the church. There was a, a, a kids concert with a chamber orchestra. This was a, a year ago, a year and a half ago. And so that's a community thing, right? And everybody's around. And she was, she was really upset to tears because she couldn't relate in the same way. She couldn't just say, I know who that yeah, is. Yeah, wave to everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, to be someplace surrounded by everybody you know, 